Hello and good day. My name is Gerald Young and in this video segment I'm going to talk about using various measuring tools that you would use for engine or gearbox repairs. We have the dial indicator, the outside metric micrometer, the electronic digital caliper, a depth gauge, feeler gauges, and plastic gauge. All right, the metric dial indicator. What we have here is a scale with each of these lines representing one hundredth of a millimeter. So this is giving me ten hundredths, twenty hundredths, and then twenty-one, twenty-two, so on and so forth. This inner scale would be for rotating the other way, and then counterclockwise measurements. The inner scale represents whole millimeters, which is one full revolution of the needle from here back around would represent one whole millimeter. So if I push the gauge up and bring it back around, you can see that on the small dial it shows one. If I go a little bit past, you can see it shows in between one and two. I'm not quite to two yet. And then it's just counting my full revolutions on the small scale. Another thing to point out here would be any time that the dial is moving clockwise, the arm is or the plunger is being pushed up. If the dial or the needle, if the needle's moving counterclockwise, the plunger is moving down. So clockwise plunger pushing up, counterclockwise plunger going down. We're going to talk now about measuring crankshaft in play using dial indicator. All right, so I've got my dial indicator here, and I'm going to preload it approximately one millimeter. That way I'll have plenty of room for measurement. Lock it down. Zero it. Stands a little fragile. Okay, we're darn close to zero. And then I'm going to take it and move my crankshaft. I've got a little over nine hundredths. Back to zero. And back again just to make sure, a little over nine hundredths. Nine hundredths of a millimeter. Crankshaft in play.